what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Microsoft founder Bill Gates has claimed Donald Trump, your president, twice asked him if there was a difference between HPV and the HIV, knew a scary amount about his daughter's looks and once left an event so that he could come back 20 minutes later in a helicopter. The remarks were caught on camera at a recent Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation event where the billionaire philanthropist took questions from staff. Addressing the audience, Bill Gates said his daughter, Jennifer, 22, had encountered Donald Trump at a horse show hosted by the 71-year-old in Florida. He said he went up and talked to Jen, and he was being super nice. And then 20 minutes later, he flew in on a helicopter to the same place. So clearly he had been driven away, but he wanted to make the grand entrance in the helicopter like the low self-esteem, big old orange trick that he is. Having avoided Donald Trump at an event earlier in 2016, Bill Gates said he met him for the first time at Trump Tower in December. He said, when I first talked to him, it was actually kind of scary how much he knew about my daughter's appearance. Melinda didn't like that too well. In another remark about his meeting with Trump, Bill Gates said, when I walked in, his first sentence kind of threw me off. He said, Trump hears that you don't like what Trump is doing. And I thought, wow, you're Trump. <laughs> People very, very, very seldom get HIV and HPV confused. And this is the president of the United States, so you would think that on a rudimentary level, he would know the difference, but he just don't, he just don't get it. The dude is not smart at all. I'm telling you, he's not. Some people are under the impression that because somebody got money, they're smart. People win a damn lottery that are dumb as hell. So just because you have money doesn't mean you're smart. You got people that inherit money. Trump pretty much inherited millions of dollars from his daddy. And with that, he also inherited his daddy's contacts, his daddy's name, his daddy's reputation. So it ain't like it was hard for him to get anything done. And keep in mind, he's bankrupted many businesses along the way. You know, he likes, of course, to just brag about the successes, but he has people out there that he has destroyed their lives. People are financially ruined because of Donald Trump. But some of y'all so dumb, y'all see the trappings of success and you don't see the path to success. But I get it, you know, you wanna believe it, so there it is. What I want to know is, what's up with this healthcare package that he's been pushing? What's up with that? I ain't heard anything about it in a long time. You know why? Because it ain't no good. Like, what good is a healthcare package if you can't afford the damn deductibles? If you can't afford the premium? That's what I want to know. Like, where is it? What has he done since he's been in office that has significant impact that improves the quality of life for the American people collectively? I'm not talking about the few people that get their pockets padded, the lobbyists and a few rich people uh, who regurgitate his talking points. I'm talking about the people, the common man and woman. What has he done? What has he even done to make children 
the young people safer. I mean, these killings, we got 22 school killings already. We ain't even halfway through the year. 22 school shootings already. This dude is a joke. I especially like the part where he left and came back. He left in the event, he came back. He, he arrived in a car <laughs> and he left and came back in a helicopter to try to impress Bill Gates' daughter. <laughs> you know he was trying to check her out to see if she was marriage material. Like, but you gotta be careful though, because you know he was probably after her inheritance. You know, Bill Gates sitting on that paper. So, you know, Trump, he cut throat, man. He gonna go after that paper by any means necessary. Now we know that Donnie loves the young girls. <laughs> that boy do anything to get next to one, man. You know your trick. If not for tricking, he's not married. He don't even have kids. Big old trick, man. Trump is clueless about every basic plan, idea, or coherent thought. All I got to say is November 6th. No more talk. What the haters talking about?